live and just um, complain about my insurance company. So I knew when they told me that my next part of my treatment was going to be a specialty chemo drug that I would likely have to get through mail order, I knew then that we were going to have problems. Being a pharmacist, my only experience with mail order in the retail side is um, the patients who come in and their mail order drugs didn't come on time. And so now they uh, need to borrow some, but we don't have a current prescription for them because blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so I just, I know that mail order is not cool. Uh, not to mention that they take so many patients from the retail pharmacies um, when the patients maybe don't even want to change to the mail order. So that's kind of a, uh, a little bit of a sticking point with me anyways. I like to have a choice of where I get my medicine and I feel like um, legally I should have that choice. Come to find out, depending on how your plan is written, uh, they can force you to use mail order, force you to use the pharmacy of their choice. So, needless to say, my plan is one of those and they have forced me to use mail order. So over the past two to three weeks, I have been calling uh, this mail order company, Briova, um, every few days to check on the status of my prescription if they're going to allow me to fill the full quantity um, because the prescription is written for 180. So my doctor wrote for 180 tablets, right? That's what she wants me to take. They'll only fill it for 140. Unless I do generic. If I do generic, then they'll fill it for 15 days at a time. But I get the full quantity. But I can't get a month's worth. I guess they think I might die between now and then. And they don't want to put out that kind of money. I don't really know. So I said, fine, do the generic. Okay, well, I'll have to get the pharmacist to change that. So she puts me on hold and gets the pharmacist to change it. Well, then they realize that, oh, there's a problem with this prescription. We'll have to contact your doctor. Okay, guys, we're running out of time. I have to start this medicine on Saturday. I'm not home this week. I'm already having to have it delivered somewhere else. So that is why I started this process three weeks early. I can't imagine if I was just general public, had no healthcare knowledge, wasn't in pharmacy, didn't realize how bad mail order is. I can't imagine being the average person sitting here today on Monday. Oh, I need my medicine this Saturday. Let me call them. There's no way you would get it on time. Mail order is such a freaking joke. A joke. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of insurance altogether, if you want to be honest, because uh, Cigna has um, denied my family medical leave um, for, you know, being out for six weeks for radiation. I'm waiting for my radiation appointment right now. I got here a little early. Um, so, yeah, they've denied that because there's no medical reason for me to not work. They said, oh, you're driving four hours a day? Well, you should work the other four. Um, no, that's not how this works. Thanks. Um, little tired, exhausted, sick from radiation, but, um, yeah, you try that whenever, yeah. Um, as far as short-term disability, am I going to get paid? Am I not? Nobody really knows. I guess we'll find out. Um, <laughs> glad I, uh, saved a little money before all this shit happened. Sorry, went live. I said I wasn't going to cuss. Um, yeah, I tried. I did good, guys. I did good. Um, so yeah, Cigna denies the FMLA. They haven't decided on the short-term disability. United Healthcare, yeah, they're United Healthcare. What more can I say? Um, they're sending me to Briova for the specialty pharmacy. They've already, uh, already pissed me off. And I haven't even gotten my first shipment yet. So they're supposed to call me back in about an hour and let me know if, uh, if the pharmacist was able to get that fixed or not. Well, you gotta fix it. How did you not realize this three weeks ago? Uh, how did you get my information in the first place? They know everything about me. I did not call these people. I did not tell them that I wanted to get my medicine through them. They know more about me than I know about myself. I am not okay with this. I am not okay with mail order. And I am gonna let them know it every time I have to call them. And if I have to get it filled every 15 days, then I'm gonna let them know every 15 days. Amen, Justin, Big Pharma. As a pharmacist, I kind of hate to go there, but yes, Big Pharma, Big Pharma, CVS, mail order companies, they're killing it. They are killing healthcare for all of us. Their reasoning for me using mail order versus using another pharmacy is cost. Say so that they can save healthcare dollars by me using their mail order pharmacy, Briova, versus my pharmacy at home. Okay, so I ask them how much would it cost to get the other 40 pills that they won't pay for if I were to pay cash through Briova? They said, well, I don't really know about the 40, but the total price, 5,700-ish dollars is what they're charging my insurance company for the 180 pills. 
my local pharmacy, charging the insurance company $2,900. Now you tell me, how is that saving money? How is that saving money? That is called a monopoly. That is called lining their own pockets. And I am sick of it. Sick of it. So, anyways, that's my rant for the day. Um, sorry about the little slip up with the cuss words, but uh, that's how I really feel about it. You should hear me on the phone with those guys. Hope you guys are having a better day than I am. See ya.